It's hard. It's straight. The flag is waving. Lavinia had their first goal, courtesy of Mateus. So here we are, halfway through the first chaka, and the scores could not be closer. Just the half goal awarded on the handicap between these two great teams. JJ throws the ball in, but once again it's 22 VR. They seem to be having the better of the throw-ins. They've once again picked up possession. They go to the far side between Flacco and Pedro. They come to the middle. It's with Pedro. He's still got control. He's well marshaled there by La Familia, but he's still got the ball. There's some great movement in behind him, but it's not quite happening. And it looks like the La Familia have done enough to steal the ball. And they decide to release it quickly. They release it quickly along. It's him running the clear one great right hit. He accelerates away. But in comes the Argentine professional Pedro. Just taking the ball off his stick and taking it to the side for safety. But as they do, there's another wild blast on the whistle to bring the game. Jaka. The ball is placed on the ground in favour of the team in blue and yellow, La Familia. 22 BR have gone back in defence, the full 30 metres away. And in comes Mateus. He hits it, it's hard, it's rising, it's going towards the goal, but the flag indicates to the right hand side. So, 22 BR will collect the ball, it's there hitting. Pedro's looking there for Flacco. Nearly gets hold of it, but Augustine for La Familia. Lifts in ahead, collects the ball. He's well marked there by Claude. He turns inside. There's a little bit of space there. Mateus can now move forward. He does with Augustine behind him. It's still with Mateus. La Familia's number four. He releases it looking forward, but he doesn't quite go as far as he wants. And he allows 22 BR to clear their lines. The ball comes back to the halfway line. Who's there first to collect it? La Familia. They turn it around. It's from Augustine looking for Mateus. In comes 22 BR to steal the ball. They do successfully. They're getting ahead now. Back comes La Familia to defend. And they do. They release it on. It looks like they release it for Imran. They have. Imran, that's a beautiful first shot. end-to-end polo in this the final of the B Grim Masters 2019 
And yet another line out. And it comes away with 22 VR. It comes away with Flacco, but he's well marked there. He leaves it for Pedro. Pedro has a swing. It doesn't quite go where he wants to. And La Familia have the opportunity to clear. They do. They turn quickly. They're looking for space on this side. They hit forward. They still got control. All the sticks are in the air. They're looking for the whistle. And the umpires entering towards the middle of the pitch. on the halfway line. La Familia will look across at the clock. There's five seconds until the first bell. Play is called by JJ. Our Argentine umpire. Mateus, he taps. He looks ahead of him. Augustine comes in behind him. He releases it. There's the first bell. We'll play 30 seconds or oh, the next whistle. We're going forward, but it's a little bit too far. It allows 22 BR through Flacco to come in. Flacco tries to take on. Mateus doesn't quite make it work. Mateus turns and then the whistle comes. A whistle that will bring this, the first chaka, to an end with the score at two and a half to 22 BR to La Familia's single goal so far. Will Pedro drive it or will he tap? He taps, he comes to this side, he's looking for space. He turns, he changes the angle, he's still looking for space. Flacco comes back to help him. That's a well worked move, Flacco takes over. He knocks it long, Pedro's gone. But before Pedro can get there, He's well marked and La Familia collect the ball on the halfway line. They quickly turn. They've got Imran in the clear up front. Can they get the ball out there? Not before the whistle goes. The whistle of the Argentine umpire. JJ comes across to the UK umpire, Ben Turner, so they can discuss what they've seen and ensure the decision is correct. And Ben Turner raises his hand with the ball in it, throws it in between, and we're back underway. Once again, 22 yards seem to be having the best of the line as they take the ball away, but as soon as they do, the La Familia robbed them of it. Through Augustine, that's great speed, that's great stick work, he gets away. Back goes Pedro for a great ride off, and not only does he ride him off, he collects the ball quite beautifully, and then reverses it. Has he done enough to get William in the clear as La Familia come back? and collect the ball they slow it down they turn it around they'll look for it's very tight in there they get past one pony they get past two they accelerate away they find some space have they still got control of the ball they have beautifully from Mateus he knocks it forward it's still that uh, familiar all going towards the 22 BR goal but then 22 BR through Flacco get hold of the ball and drive it away and as they do, the two horses come together and the whistle goes. So, big pressure there from La Familia, but equally good defense from 22 BR. Means the score still reads two and a half to 22 BR to La Familia's one goal so far. So, another great opportunity, a 40-yard hit. They will turn to Mateus, their Chilean professional. They have done for the last month, and he's been so reliable. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, hard, long, and La Familia's second goal of the final. So, once again, it's just half a goal between these two teams. As they canter back to the middle of the pitch. Teams reverse their play, the ball goes in. And it is, once again, 22 BR who come away with the ball. 
they drive forward, but there's some excellent defense there from La Familia. They turn defense into attack to get going forward, but the ball doesn't quite come. Who's the first to get there? It looks like it could be Sheik. Sheik taps it to the side. He allows his number four, Mateus, to come in and take it. They need a bit of space. They need to take it away. Mateus does. He taps. He goes past one. Great work there by Imran, taking a player out. That allows La Familia to go forward. Not only to go forward, they're over the 60-yard line. But oh, that's superb defence from 22PR. Collecting the ball, taking it to safety on the far side. And they still have possession. Can they now turn this into an attack? No, they can't. La Familia collect the ball. And they once again keep going forward. They slow it down. Work again by Imran, the young lad who's been used to block the play to let the Argentinian professional through. And it's still La Familia pushing hard. But a whistle brings the game to a temporary stop. So the ball is placed for a penalty to 22 BR. There was a lot of pressure coming. They'll breathe a sigh of relief at that. And immediately they want to get on with it. They're going at speed. They spotted a gap. It looks like 22 BR have gone over the halfway line. Surely they can't go all the way. Yes, they can. They still got hold of the ball with Flacu. But back come La Familia. But Flacu still has it. Flacu goes to the middle of the pitch. He's well marked there. He's driving, but look at this. Two players on him to slow him down. So he turns, he goes the opposite way. Oh, Sheikh Reisman takes it off his stick. That could be very vital. That could have saved an automatic goal. And La Familia now clear their lines to the far side. So, here we go. still in the second chucker. La Familia now pushing forward, but it's 22 BR who robbed them of the ball. It looks like it's Pedro. Pedro turns, goes to the middle. One hit, two hits. He's in front of the orange sticks. The ball is through the orange sticks. 22 BR have three and a half goals to La Familia's two. And with that, the clock comes to a stop, and we have the half chucker. So, once again, they go to the far side, they go to umpire JJ. It's a tense, close final with very little in it. Halfway through the second checker, and this time it's La Familia getting the best out of the line out, and they quickly get away. They're in the clear, it's Mateus. He just needs to keep the ball in stick. Oh, what a terrible bounce. That was so hard there. And 22 BR can't believe their luck as they get the ball away. Beautiful fields we have here, but you still get the occasional bounce. And that wasn't a kind one there for La Familia. As 22 BR break out, head into the halfway line. But La Familia are there first. They turn the ball around. But only as far as 22 BR, only as far as Pedro. Pedro tries to drive through Matias. Matias Black blocks him off, allowing Augustine in. Augustine goes for it. But Flacco takes the ball for 22 BR. He turns, he sets himself. Now he can go forward. He looks for his team to go ahead. They do indeed, they allow a gap. They're going through, Pedro has one great big swing at it. He connects, he goes to the far side. Great work here by 22 BR, but great defense by La Familia. As once again, they collect the ball and they stop the attack. As they do, they go to the far side and JJ Whistle is blown. So, we are still in the second chucker. The umpires are cantering down the field and dropping the ball at halfway. The La Familia team come together. They have the ball, they're discussing their tactics. 22 BR go back to defence. So, JJ, the umpire, hey, 
Straight away, we're underway. La Familia tapping through Mateus. And Mateus releasing long and high. Is it going towards the orange sticks? It looks like it's a little bit to the right hand side, but that was a huge hit. Huge hit. You can't leave this man alone. He can score from anywhere. But this time it's just to the right hand side. And 22 BR collect the ball. They do so through Pedro. Pedro changes direction twice, then releases it. Looking for Flacco. Flacco's got a bit of speed on here now. He's well marked. But Flacco's going to go for it. He opens it as he tries it far down the field. But only as far as Matias. Matias turns it around there. Straight away for La Familia. But in defence is Pedro for 22 BR. Pedro says safety is the far side of the pitch. So he knocks it. He goes across. But it's back there. It's La Familia. La Familia through Augusti. Driving forward. He Can he get past Pedro? It looks like he can. Oh, and he just leaves it there beautifully for Mateus. Mateus well marshaled. Oh, how did that happen? 22 BR has stolen the ball. And away they come. They're in the clear. There's going to be a bit of a horse race here. It looks like Pedro's just leading out at the moment. And he's taking the ball with him. It's a big hit. Not quite straight enough. It takes it to the side. Slowing down the 22 BR team. But they still have the ball as play comes to a stop. So, once again, La Familia are exerting a lot of pressure, but at the moment the goals aren't coming, and some incredible defensive work there by 22BR. So, as the second chucker comes towards the end, it is still La Familia in possession and how they would like one more goal before the half-time interval. They're tapping it through. But it looks like 22 BR are taking it off them, or have they? No, it goes back. La Familia still in control. Driving. They release it. They've got a little bit of speed on now. Mateus has got a lot of speed on now. He looks up to see where his team is. He runs in great position. Shake goes past. The first jack of has gone, but La Familia know they've still got time. They slow it down, very deliberate. They're driving through the middle. Tap, tap, tap through the middle. A gap appears, a gap appears, and a goal appears. What a brilliant way for La Familia to end the second checker by bringing the score to three and a half, to three. Then Turner calls the teams together on the near side of the pitch. The score could not be tighter. Three and a half to three goals. The ball goes in, beautifully taken by Inesito at the front. Controls it, still driving it forward. Well marked there by William. William does enough to allow Flacco to come in. Flacco turns it beautifully. He finds some space, he looks forward. Then he, he slows it down, takes the man on, beautiful block in there by Claude, allows Flacco to go through, Flacco changes the direction once more, it's very congested ahead of him, so he comes to the side to find some space, goes for a big neck shot, allowing Claude to come in behind him, Claude goes just over it, Shake turns very quickly, La Familia are on their way, La Familia through Shake, knock it to the halfway line, oh it's a terrible bounce for Augusti, as Pedro cuts in. 22 yards, number four, collects it, brings it to the board. But can he keep hold of the ball? The answer is he can't. Mateus from La Familia, in like a shot, takes it away. He leaves it there for Hinesito. He comes over the top. It's all La Familia going forward at the moment. They go towards the middle. And here comes William to try and clear. But as William does, the whistle goes. This chucker has started with great pressure from the Malaysian team of La Familia. So, Mateus being very, very careful, places the ball beautifully before cantering away. This could be the first time that La Familia lead in this final, if he can convert this penalty.
Once again, hard high, a red flag's waving. La Familia take the smallest of leads. They lead by four to three and a half over the team of 22BR. Here in the third jacket. So the teams will reverse the play. They come together on Ben Turner. Ben Turner throws it into the middle. It's caught there. It looks like La Familia have got hold of it. They have indeed. They turn away. They are well marshaled there by 22BR, which means Pedro takes the ball. Knocking it to the side. He's looking for Flacco. Flacco is a big hit. He's asking Williams to go forward. Williams goes forward, but La Familia are back very quickly in defence. They turn it around beautifully with a tail shot across the field. This allows La Familia to gain the ball on the halfway line. Again, a tail shot. Two tail shots in this move already. Oh, and 22 come across with a big whistle there to La Familia. This has certainly been two great minutes for La Familia. They have one goal and now they have a penalty deep in 22 BR's territory. An opportunity surely they will entrust to Mateus, the Chilean professional, the sixth goaler. Once again, Mateus will do his traditional. He will come in quickly. He will hit it hard. And will it be straight as usual? It's hard. It's high. We wait for the flag. It's critical. There it is. It is La Familia's fifth goal of the afternoon from the Chilean professional, Mateus, who's now scored 15 goals in this tournament. Familia certainly having the best of this, the start of the third chucker, but 22BR, they're still in this, they will be fighting hard and coming back soon, and they do, it's Flacco, who takes the ball, hands it over to Pedro, Pedro gets away, Pedro riding hard, Hinesito is with him, but Pedro's got control, oh it's another bounce, another bounce, leaves it there, 22BR can't believe it, yay, 22BR, score their fourth goal, we're back to just half a goal between these two teams. So 22 BR looking for reaction. The reaction came very quickly and they narrow it to just the half goal advantage to laugh them in. As the whistle goes and the half chucker is called. Here we go, balls in, goes down through the middle. Well stopped there by William. William fighting hard. Still got it. Ford goes over the top. Great work there by 22BR, releases Flacco. Flacco still got control of it. He gives it over to Pedro. Oh, some serious ride offs there. But 22BR still have the ball. He's stuck to Flacco's stick. Flacco knocks it forward. Great start by there, 22BR. But back go, La Familia. In there, blue and yellow kit. They hand it over to Mateus. Mateus driving it down the middle looking for Augusti. This is some very tight marking and clever play, which allowed 3 2 BR to come back in. They claim the ball through Flacco. Flacco goes to the far side. He's well marshaled. He slows it down. He turns inside. A gap appears. He accelerates through it. He's now up to the 60 yard line. Back going that familiar, but at the moment the ball's still with Flacco. But it goes to the side. That familiar have slowed down this attack. All the horses coming together. We wait to see who emerges with it. It looks like it's still 22BR pushing forward. Getting ever closer towards that goal. Well, there's so many La Familia players there. But ladies and gentlemen, it's in! 22BR from an incredible angle. Have slotted it in to go five and a half to five. In this, the B Grim Masters final, 2019. So, incredible defence there from La Familia. It's hard to imagine how 22BR can get the ball in, but the answer is they have, and they regain the lead in this, the third chucker. Ball goes in. Who collects it? La Familia do. 
August Inga, Zen number two. He drives in the space. Great marking there again by Pedro, but August Inga gets past him and he gets past Flacco. That gives him a bit of space. He gets away. He looks forward. He's still got control of the ball. He's looking at the orange sticks. He follows him in there, but it just just doesn't come off his stick. Goes to the side. 22 BR collect. 22 BR in the far end of the field. They turn it around, but it's then handed back to La Familia. La Familia now still have control of the ball. They're going to get to the middle. But 22 BR, that's a big hit. Way over the 60 yard line to release some of the pressure. But back comes Mateus. Collects it. Fakes it. Has another go. Releases it. It's rolling. It's in front of the goal. We look towards the goal. What's happening? by half a goal. So the players seek the clarification from the umpires and then come back to get the game underway in this incredible final with only half a goal separating these teams. The ball is in, the clock is ticking. It's La Familia who got the hit, but it doesn't quite go where they want it to. It looks like Flacco gets control. Flacco turns inside, outside. He then slows it down. He slows it down enough to allow a player to go by. It's still with 22 BR. Now it's with Pedro. Pedro, cool, calm. The clock is ticking, but they want to keep possession. As the ball is hit away, who gets back first? It is 22 BR on the halfway line. The first Jack and Bell's gone. We'll play to the next whistle of 30 seconds. That's a lot of time for either team to score. And at the moment, the ball is with 22 BR. They slow once more through Pedro. Pedro looking for Flacco to come in. He can't get in. He's well marked, so Pedro turns again. Pedro finds a little gap in the middle. He goes through the middle. But this defense from La Familia is rock solid. And the whistle goes. And with that whistle, we think that will be the end of the third checker with La Familia leading by six goals to five and a half. The game will start with La Familia, the team in yellow and blue, with the ball through Mateus. He comes, he taps. He looks to the near side of the field. He releases it long. He wants to take on Pedro. There's going to be a bit of a write-off. No, there isn't. Pedro gets there first. Pedro looks at Flacco. That's a beautiful backhand. That puts Flacco in the clear. Flacco's got hold of the ball, but he's well marked there by La Familia's Augustine. Augustine allowing Mateus to take the ball. Now, Mateus, there's a sense of urgency now. Both teams up in the speed as they go forward. And it is La Familia driving hard there towards Inesoto. Inesoto leaves it there for Mateus. Mateus hits it across towards the goal. It's rolling, it's rolling. But who will get there first? It is 22 BR with a hit that takes it just to the side, but out beyond the line. So, great speed, great fast play. But no goal at this stage. So, as 22 BR in trying to defend, knocked it over the back line, the ball will be dropped on the 60 yard line. Umpire Ben Turner there to supervise. 22 BR, because it's 60 yards out, can stand in front of the goal and defend their goal. They do not have to be behind it. No doubt we will see Mateus canter away, hit this hard, probably high, probably straight. set. Play 
is held up while JJ clears something from the pitch. So, La Familia have not led this final by more than half a goal so far. What an opportunity to extend that at this point. Once again, it's hard, but this time it's low. Oh, and unusually to the side. He has been so reliable all month. And could that be a costly, costly mistake as 22PR now gain possession of the ball through Pedro. They still half a goal behind. We're in the final chucker. Still Pedro taking it forward. Then he releases it. He's looking for Flacco to come through his feet. But who will get back there first? Hinesito does. And he beautifully just taps it around the corner. Has he done enough to get La Familia going forward? It looks like he might have done. What a vital touch there. So La Familia now gain possession. They turn inside, outside. There's no way through at the moment. This 22 PR defense is solid. So they release it long. Oh my goodness, that's a huge hit. Now is it a huge hit? They're La Familia in front to go. They hit it. Extend their lead to seven goals to five and a half here in the final chucker. So that goal came almost out of nowhere. Brilliant defense to 22 BR, but a huge hit released the La Familia team to score their seventh goal. So we're back underway. Now the urgency falls to 22 BR. They're the team that need to start scoring because if the score sto scores stays as it is, La Familia will win their second championship on the trot. Not only that, they're now flying away. They're going down the far end. La Familia, two goals in under a minute to take them to eight to five and a half. This is all going La Familia's way at the moment. But 22 BR still have plenty of time. As the whistle goes, the clock is stopped. So 22 BR will be looking for a fast goal. They want to narrow that lead. What can they do? We're in the line out. Who gets control of the ball? It's not clear yet. It's still in there. It's held in there. We're still waiting for it to emerge. We do, and it's 22 BR through Pedro. Pedro gets a flyer. He's in the clear. He gets another swipe at it. He's left it there for Flacco. Flacco gets it in. But La Familia, what great work there. Following up to collect the ball. But Ben Turner blows his whistle. Flacco hits the flag waves. Six and a half to eight. 22 beyond, narrow the lead, and we still have half the chucker to play. So, the teams line up on Ben Turner again. He releases the ball in, it seems to go all the way through, it comes out the far side. Who did the command play well? This La Familia. It's Augustine. Augustine gets a flyer. That's a big hit down to 22 BR 60. He's well marshaled there. Who's still got control of the ball? It's hard to see. It looks like 22 BR turned it. Now it looks like La Familia have stolen it. In front of the goal. What a goal. Oh, what a goal. La Familia's ninth goal of the afternoon. So, is that enough of a margin? Have they built up a big enough cushion? As the clock ticks, could this be La Familia's second win on the trot? They won the Thai Polo Open just two weeks ago, and now they stand on the verge of winning the B Grim Masters. But not until the clock ticks down and 22 BR have had their say. They're fighting hard for the ball. 
Flacco's got it. He turns one way, turns another. The whistle is blown. It's in favour, 22 BR. Where will the umpires take it? JJ places the ball on the halfway line. It's a penalty five to 22 BR. They tap. Pedro goes. He knows there's a sense of urgency now. 22 BR need to start scoring or this trophy is going to La Familia. And straight away Flacco goes through the middle. He's desperate to get hold of it. Oh, but La Familia said it wrong and they run away with it. They can't believe it. They've got the ball. The clock is ticking. Mateus will just go long. He wants it as far away from his goal as he can as the clock ticks down. And 22 BR's job gets harder and harder. So, there's a whistle right down deep in 22 BR's goal mouth. The whistle goes, the clock stops. Mateo hits, it's hard, it's straight, the flag is waving, La Familia have 10 goals to 6.5 to 22 BR, surely they've done enough to win the B Grim Masters, but 22 BR, no, they have still a minute and a half in which to make a difference. And we canter back to the middle of the pitch to see the ball placed in the middle of the pitch in favour of La Familia. Not only have they scored their 10th goal, they've retained possession. They look at the clock. Everything is looking good for La Familia at the moment. Mateus, in his usual style, cantering in quickly, hitting it hard, hitting it high, hitting it long, it's going towards the goal, it rolls, it rolls, it rolls, but it goes to the left-hand side on this occasion. 22 BR have the ball, 300 metres away from where they want to be, that's the two orange sticks, which is La Familia's goal. Here they go, through Flacco. He's going to put the afterburners on now. He wants speed. He's going to go direct. He hits it hard. He's still got control. It's Pedro now who's coming in. Pedro with the ball stuck to his stick. It comes to the side. He's still there. He hits. He goes. Hinesito goes with him. It's still all Pedro at the moment. He's got nearly 300 metres. A little shot now. We'll put it in. Surely he can do it. He can. 22 BR go to seven and a half to ten in this the B Grim Masters final. That familiar can see the goal, but they look at the scoreboard. They're feeling comfortable. They come back to the middle, but 22 BR are keen to get on with this. They can still sense more goals in the offering. Ben Turner throws the ball in, and it is once again 22 BR who collect it. It's Flacco. Oh, there's a huge gap in the middle. He goes through the middle. It's only Hinesito in the way. Oh, Hinesito rides him up quite beautifully.